Hello everyone, this is Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Pentalic Traveler Pocket Journal, a sketchbook. So this is meant to be a sketchbook or artist book uh, and it's travel friendly but uh, the advantage of this journal is that this is very small in size and it's a very price friendly and uh, you can still use it as a regular journal or travel journal so I'll open this up and I'll take a look at it and we'll talk about uh, how good or bad this is going to be as a pocket uh, journal or traveler's journal so the opening should be very easy and I just took out the plastic uh, cover and let's go through some of the specs uh, right here so you can see that this is a very small 3 by 4 inch or 7.6 by uh, 10.2 centimeter and it has a 74 pound 120 gram uh, acid free paper and actually the paper is even recycled so you can see it right here and on the back of the journal we have some just description of the brand and uh, looks like this is uh, made in uh, made in Italy uh, which is the cover and crafted in Malaysia so let's remove the flap and here is what we have so as you can see that this is a very basic uh, notebook or sketchbook and the pages are white and uh, actually I can see that there's a small uh, pocket on the flap right here so you can you know keep in uh, cards or receipts or something like that and then if you wish then this cover can be actually removed so if you just remove this then it just looks like a black pocket journal so this is very simple and minimalistic journal and what I'll do I'll just you know do some uh, writing uh, testing on the pages and see whether you know uh, there's any ink uh, bleeding or how it feels to write and actually there's even a marker to uh, you know uh, keep track of where you left off the last time and then there's the rubber band to close it so that's another good feature so let's leave this here and let's do some testing of how this right so this is a ballpoint pen and and I'll use a ink pen to write as well okay so the paper is a little bit thick it's not thin and because this is meant to be a sketchbook so that's uh, I believe that's the reason of this paper but if you look on the other side of the paper there is absolutely no bleeding and uh, due to uh, being uh, thick this can actually uh, hold you can use any type of pen looks like uh, to write on it so some of the disadvantages of this journal is that uh, you know you cannot uh, there's no perforated uh, paper and looks like it doesn't lie flat so if you try to you know lie flat on your on anywhere then it just comes back to its original shape so it looks like you know this is not hold this way but in terms of size uh, you can put it in your pocket this is a very pocket friendly journal and another good feature is that you know this is very uh, low price journal so you can use it uh, you know uh, without thinking of cost or anything so I paid about uh, around five dollars Canadian so the price should be around that range uh, depending on where you are but it, there shouldn't be you know too much differences uh, than five dollars Canadian
So one thing I noticed that, you know, the size, uh, the thickness of the notebook is a little bit, uh, you know, it's not slim. So it's going to take some space in your pocket in terms of the length here. But in terms of the overall size, which is only 3 by 4 inch, so that should be fine. But this is not a slim journal, so it's a little bit uh, on the fat side. So whether you are going to use it as a sketchbook or notebook or travel uh, journal or travel notebook, it doesn't look like you know you can go wrong uh, buying this because of its low price. And uh, just to let you know that this is not a paid or affiliated review. All my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased, and honest. Thank you for watching. Forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up. and. I'll see you shortly.